let's say 10 years later someone just is just browsing through who's won the leagues and they're saying city has won six leagues in seven years they'd be like oh my god premier league is a farmers league so nero i want to ask you what's your definition of a farmers league <laughs> farmers league is basically where there's one team and there's they're basically in a farm and they're basically grazing all the cows and they're the main main people there they're enjoying yeah. life there and just relaxing <laughs> um also i think farmers league is a league which is not competitive in europe in general so it's it's a okay. league where players don't want to go but that, I, yeah. i don't think that's the point you're yeah, getting that, that's yeah. that's not the point i'm getting what i'm getting it as six titles in seven seasons mm. uh teams not basically yet. teams 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 basically turning up against manchester city and playing their b team c team just because they know that they're going to lose uh re- talking about Aston Villa what happened last last week and uh uh there's just basically no competition like everybody's so shit scared like all the competitors even after they lose one match we saw Liverpool they were on the verge of crying because they kind of knew inside that their season is over uh and they don't expect City to lose points so probably can be said for Arsenal but mm-hmm. they have Champions League to look forward to so they were a little bit better are we becoming a farmers league where it's just Guardiola's world and we are existing to you know crown him at the end of the season i i slightly don't agree with this because um you know we call bundesliga farmers league no one has given bayern munich competition till this year no one has yeah. given them competition i feel like city get i mean even though they win but they still are taken to the dogs they're taken to the final line you know they actually push to the limits so i would say that there is competition within the league but if you just look at let's say 10 years later someone just is just browsing through who's won the leagues and they're saying city has won six leagues in seven years they'd be like oh my god premier league is a farmers league uh, you would say that like that's yeah. true fair fair assessment yeah. there i think i think guardiola has made made this league into one of those where you have to be perfect all the time you can't leave what you can't even have like a single day off not even in training because once you do that it kind of trickles down over to the weekend and then you get just lost in the the circus that is that is premier league and we saw that with liverpool today uh they were at home uh they were very emotional uh throughout throughout the past 3 months and especially today and uh, you could see you know those those people uh fans staying back after the loss and just soaking it in like not in terms of like enjoying it but in terms of like trying to grasp what happened grasp the fact that they lost a very unexpected defeat and they lost two games at anfield which basically all of us in the world said that it is impossible to beat them at the anfield after jurgen klopp announced it what do you think went wrong with them um i just feel like you know the almost getting out of europa league is uh, weighing on him i i think i told you guys that like when um i feel like when teams just have one thing to play for and that's super important to them pressure develops to a level that you know it gets really yeah. emotional and liverpool is anyway an emotional team so i think the the reason for this spiraling is their uh, form the klopp farewell tour kind of like that whole charisma that had developed has is fading down a little bit the honeymoon Good. period Good. is almost over so it's it's kind of like that those are the reasons also they again just like arsenal they've been missing a lot of chances um, yeah they have they've not been as lucky as other teams but oh no, they have been they have been very lucky they have been very very, very lucky team of things <laughs> like the few games that we've seen yeah. um but yeah they they have they're feeling the heat right now they're feeling the heat properly of klopp's departure i feel like that is that is <laughs> the thing that is weighing them down um they don't have the same confidence as they did in over the last few years because they know that something is coming to an end so it just feels like it feels worse than it actually is um i actually fear for them now because you know if you think about it from a psychological point of view right uh once you know that you have nothing to fight for i mean you know they still have things to fight for them if there's one team in the world that i would bet my money to turn a 3-0 around is liverpool right so they in my opinion they still are in in europa especially after today uh, after today's defeat they might be extra motivated to do it uh and also in the premier league they're just 3 points behind one city loss and they're right back in it so two points actually so they're right back in it so it's not it's not doom and gloom for them but if players 
and and stuff and everybody else starts thinking about the fact that okay klopp's gone now and we are out of everything we have to basically look for we are looking for survival here then it becomes a challenge then it becomes like you know one of those things where oh is sala going to be there is van dijk going to be there is is trend going to go to real madrid because they're looking at somebody on the right back slot so all of those things can lead to a very disastrous end to the season where they don't have anything to play for and they might you know lose like lose ground so badly that they are not even in the top top contention anymore like they they've fallen off so much so i feel like that is a genuine scare that might happen to them yeah that's t- totally possible and um thinking about the fact that like klopp has been in england for what now almost 10 years um yeah. and it looks like he has just won one champions league and one premier league like the major trophies so basically his yeah. legacy is like roberto di matteo or don't say like, that dude no please no i'm not <laughs> i'm not going to accept that that's a part of this statement i'm just saying like factually yes but there is i mean context aside context is really strong yeah, yeah. Here, context aside factually he's one um almost like i mean he has won something but still it's it's really really disappointing to how many years it's yeah. been here. and it's nothing to do with club that's the funniest part it's just pep and uh he's just the uh the i mean the master he's he's the winner here uh, in every every cycle and today again like now arsenal liverpool have lost so it feels like um you know the inevitable is going to happen again i'm seeing all of the yeah. memes on twitter with pep guardiola's face like just doing this like the inevitable yeah. is happening. like it's going to happen <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah it is there and imagine city dressing room right at, the, at this moment they're seeing all of these games and they're seeing uh, you know these two team teams um, blues they're looking at their fixture list they're seeing six relatively e- i wouldn't say easy no game in the premier league is easy but still they they don't they're not facing any top, they're not facing arsenal liverpool um they don't have a derby like with the united they are at the tottenham hotspur stadium but i the way ange plays i wouldn't like put it past them to like basically come out with like a 4-0 or a 5-0 victory I, honestly like it's yeah. not like previous seasons where it's going to be a 1-0 son uh, you know goal going to be different yeah. and they basically the team is looking at those fixtures and going like fuck we can actually easily win all of these six fixtures and we can do four in a row i mean they at the, they probably weren't even serious till this point and now they're just looking okay. at it, fuck we just have to win six games and that's it and now yeah. the motivation is going to hit them and they'll be like let's just turn it on guys each yeah. and every single person guardiola is going to just pump them up and we're just staring at the inevitable again and fair play fair play honestly fair play yeah. um it, it, it's so such a psychological thing no like now if you're as you said in your if you're in the city dressing room mm. you'll be like uh, this is where this is what big boys are all about right if, in my mm. head if i'm haland or if i'm even jack greelish right uh, i'm like this is what we do i mean now it's in our hands six games we know what to do we've done it and we always do it and even if we lose once they kind of would be uh banking on the fact that arsenal liverpool would not be the same especially after giving up the lead right so hey man it's a it's a daunting and challenging task i think all except for the fact that i want arsenal to win all their games i want guardiola to actually hang up his boots and be like okay i'm done i've completed football it's like the messi level thing now go on and win the world cup because that's the only thing left for you but like just go go, go Honestly, somewhere else probably if he wins a treble again I could see that. I could see him, you know, leaving because he he would yeah. have achieved so much. He would have done a treble twice, which no one in England has ever. done ever. He would have uh, won four right. in a row, which no one in England has done ever. He would just be undisputedly the best uh, manager in Premier League or English football history. Oh, yeah. Ever, if ever. Two, if he wins yeah. two Champions League back to back, that's just um, that's that's unbelievable and. you know now things are in their own hand and i feel like city is a team can a team they don't feel the pressure like other teams do like arsenal don't want anything in their own hand like just take it away from yeah. us you know keep it uh, like we just we'll probably like come back we'll do yeah. we don't want to be on top i feel the most comfortable when we're second like that's that's yeah, how i 100%, 100%. yeah so i i feel like 
we feel that way because then nobody is there to taunt us then mm-hmm. we don't have to take shit from anybody ki chalo haar gaye tab theek hai it's fine yeah and uh, the and the worst is but i know what again like i know what the city dressing room is feeling like i remember bernardo coming out after the arsenal nil nil draw he is like things aren't in our, on a, in our hands anymore and we really disappointed uh, we have to look at arsenal liverpool's result and try to win all games so they were actually disappointed that things went out of their hands but like now it's back and um i mean you can see we'll see the bookmakers what they're saying they're probably like all hedging their bets towards city everything is going 100%. towards city um so yeah it's a missed opportunity for arsenal but at least for us i feel like there is something to look forward to we have yeah. we have champions league still um i don't know by the time we release this video maybe we're out but uh, if we are then fuck you i don't care uh <laughs> yeah, wait, let's forget about the season itself we have arteta with us he's going to sign a new contract um klopp is leaving liverpool um united chelsea still in turmoil don't have any expectations for them to get good overnight uh, tottenham is tottenham and uh, city city hopefully pep guardiola leaves if he does i i feel like we're going to start winning and i who i feel bad for are liverpool fans because they had their golden era golden age with jurgen klopp had come at the exact same time as pep guardiola being good for us yeah. it's the last two seasons for them it's like the last god knows how many seasons since 2017 so it's been like more than a lot of seasons and arteta is just starting out so hopefully i don't know hopefully we find if pep guardiola stays hopefully we find um, a way to you know just like shoot up and like maintain some sort of gap between uh, us and city that's the only way you know that we can actually win the title because in the run in they're just too good they're just too good yeah. they're like fucking horses behind you it's not it's 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 not even funny at that point in time so hopefully that happens or i retire or something i don't know i think i'm going to just end this section by saying that if they win a uh, double treble we are in a farmers league sorry to say <laughs> but we are we are we are in a farmers league and we still watch this league.